I think during the launch, like the break, we were talking about Mon how Monkey King is also that kind of hero. He can get a really good early game, right? Very farmed, snowball. But then one or two deaths in the game is like, oh. But the difference is that Timber is a lot harder to ki uh, kill. And True. Timber also defends your base much better. Especially yesterday when and we saw... Have, and they have a PL. Yeah. They have back. PL and Marana. So they, they have some decent lane game even if the Timber does not carry through. Mm -hmm. I do hope that uh, we have the ticketed though. Because the names are looking a little weird. I don't know who's actually playing who. Yep. But at the same time, you know, like Bane is also like uh, one of the better supports at locking down Timber. Sure. And you, your brain set is pure damage. So... You have me ways I mean, of killing him. And Timber has like 3k HP at one point. I mean, ass that's assuming you get a good game, you know? Like, sure. he, can, he can still... I've never seen Raven have a bad game on Timber. No, he's not playing. Raven's not playing Timber. It's uh, Armel. It's a mid-Timber this time around. Okay. I have never seen Armel. <laughs> but I think, I think overall, they have a lot of, like, magic bursts to kill the Timber. Um, Tiny, Gyrocopter. Sure. They have a lot of tools that they him. It's just the laning phase that's going to be a problem. And DK doesn't really lose until... Timber gets level 6. Yes. You know? Before that, it's fine. It's just a farming lane in the middle lane. True. Yeah. So the things that we, we want to look out for is like uh, in how well the side lanes will do. Because I think middle lane is going to be a 50-50 lane. The side lanes are once again going to be the key factors here. Tiny is a hero that you want to get a really, really good start. You don't want this hero to be behind. And the way they're going to lane... I think Bane is going to go top. Yeah, Arya is going to go with the Gyro. So this Bane Tiny Lane is going to be extremely, extremely strong at the start. Uh, up against this, I think, should be PL and... Oh no, it's not PL and Bench, it's PL and Dark Willow. Don't think it changes stuff that much. I I still feel this Ayo and Tiny should get the upper hand in the lane. If the, uh, sorry, not, uh, not the Ayo and Tiny, the Bane and the Tiny. Right, so, let's quickly kind of identify the, the players and the heroes, because... I'll so, help you. Don't yeah, pa Pasha I, is playing the tiny, right? I have them on friends this. Yeah, have, Pasha, uh, Pasha. Wow, what a what a <laughs> humble brag here. Uh, no one is on playing the DK, I assume. Yes. And then Ramsey's on the gyrocopter. Mm -hmm. And then uh, on the dire side, Thunderstruck, I imagine, is going to be Raven. Mm -hmm. Playing, actually, this is one of his, I think, most comfortable heroes. Terrible PL. Yeah, all the illusions. One. And he, he is... Tims. Tims, yep. And then mid lane is Armel, like you mentioned. And bottom say Sam H. And Cuckoo. Oh, the runes. Who is going to get the runes? It seems VP is going to get the upper hand. Three runes. Uh, wait. Uh, actually, four runes. Oh, that's rough. That is rough. But still, we've seen... Uh, was it our, our games? Where someone got four runes but still lost the lane? Was it yesterday? I mean, I don't think the first rune determines who's going to win or not, but... I mean, uh, I mean the lanes, they still lost the lanes, yeah, yeah, yeah. got other runes. It's more like mental damage, you know, it's just like... <laughs> you feel pretty bad after not getting uh, any runes. I mean, that could mean that uh, the lane becomes uh, awfully hard in those kind of like 50-50 lanes when one hero gets all the runes and the other doesn't. But we'll see, uh, Sora has gone for this like huge massive regen build. Two fairy fires, two mangoes on the bane just so that he can just soak up damage and... Uh, you know, allow Tiny to last hit, get his items, get his levels. I think this lane becomes really difficult once Tiny gets uh, like at least level 3. The lane becomes very difficult for the PR. Very hard for him to last hit then. Because he's always going to take a lot of damage from the 3, three grab harass. I mean, right now I think uh, Raven's already having trouble missing a couple last hits under a tower. And Bane is actually one of the supports with higher, some of the highest base damage as well. So he's he's also here. I mean, Brain Sap, uh, so he trades like against everyone fine. Yeah. And bottom lane, this bench, uh, Mirana. Oh, Mirana, Sand H, she's in Ooh, also the first one. That is a big, big kill there for the Eye and the Gyro getting this extra goal, and it's gonna mean that their lane is gonna have a pretty sizable advantage early on. And on top of things, they got four bounty runes, so yeah, four bounty runes plus the first bird goal. I mean, that that's all like the fact that Mirana did not get level two as quickly as VP. VP was able to. Force a kill when Marana did not have leap. Yep, that's why uh, when I talk about the laning phases, I always focus on the first few creep waves are extremely important. Because yep. all these like level transitions, power spikes, like one team gets uh, the level a little bit faster, one creep, one CS faster, they make a move, they get a kill, a decisive kill, and the lane becomes extremely, extremely difficult for the other side. And top lane, on the other hand, right now, uh, Tiny is slowly pulling ahead. 
The creep wave is going to push into his tower, so he's going to get a few more assists. As we expected, the Bane Tiny, uh, much stronger lane compared to the PL plus Dark Willow. So arguably right now, VP is winning two out of the three lanes. The mid lane is essentially a wash. 50-50 there. Oh, stun into the Io. Gyro tries to block the arrow, but not going to be successful. But the fairy fire, he still has one more fairy fire here on the Io. He's trying to bait. Oh, Kuku, he's trying so hard to get the kill, but... There's no way he gets it and he pops the star off on Roger. Uh, Cuckoo, Vengeful Spear with uh, very short arms, man. Can't, can't hit that far. <laughs> and now the regen is looking pretty dire in this. Are they out of uh, regen? Oh, no, they, they, they still have some decent. It's got, got Magic Stake gun. You know, sometimes stuff. in a lane, when you have, you have uh, no regen, it's better to die sometimes yeah. than to walk back to base. That's how I feel about it. We see a lot of players like walking to the enemy tier 2s, just like suiciding and porting right back. Because the deaths, uh, the kills doesn't mean so much but compared to the time wasted, you know, if you have to walk all the way back to base and TP back. But as I mentioned, the first few creep waves are extremely, extremely crucial to decide uh, how the lane goes. If you don't really get uh, a good control on the first few creep waves, your range creep gets denied and, and whatnot, and you get your level 2 or level 3 slower, it, most of the time it means that the lane is lost. And bottom lane, they got a stun on Roger once more, the arrow being blocked by Ramses. But Roger's still gonna go down. And Ramsey's gonna run away. Also simultaneously they made a go on the top lane, but Tim's able to just get out of there very safely and self right back up. Surprisingly here, PL's actually like doing okay. He's he's getting out the night a bit, uh, as you would expect, but still getting his own CS. Yeah, but still, uh, I think they're still losing the lane because the wave is pushing into the tiny tower, he's gonna get a few more last hits. Uh, but I think overall I agree, Ooh. he's he's doing He's doing okay, uh, considering that they have the weaker lane. And I, I'm sure that he's happy with whatever he's getting right now. Nope. Looks like bottom lane, the kill continues here. Marana gets dove. But uh, nice return kill here. Ramsey though, getting the better of the exchange. Getting the first kill, the experience and all that jazz. Just what I was waiting for. So overall... I think it's still quite even in the top and bottom lanes. Uh, mid lane is like we mentioned, a 50-50 farming lane. Everyone's just trying to trade farm. And bot lane, Cuckoo, got him gone on by the gyrocopter here. Right, Cuckoo should be fine. I say that though, they're Done. diving. The magic missile is going to hit the tower and the arrow. Stick very fire. Uh, okay. The tower needs a little bit more help. Looks like Samage is going to clean up the kill afterwards. As a salve, and now it looks like they're going to run towards a rune. The balls are in his face, though. He's going to take a lot of damage. He needs to fire off that arrow. He needs to salve up as well. Oh, they have to. Oh, they have to get the rune on the, on the IO. Register. Oh, okay, this is big. Roger's not going to be able to refill his bottle. And meanwhile, PL gets a kill on Solo while Solo's trying to. Get the rune. Did he get the rune? Solo. Yeah, he got the rune. So okay. it's two Die for runes, the bounty. Two runes apiece. That's okay. Yeah. And a casual tip onto Roger for failing to get the rune, but he... <laughs> <laughs> oh, he so tried. it was a smoke, gyro smoke to get back to the bottom lane. That's how important it is to get back to the lane as soon as possible. And he uh, tank, tanked the, uh, the arrow for, for the truck, dude. Looks like we're gonna see a gank on the mid lane here. They want the kill on DK and uh, no one trying to turn it around here against the Ventral Spirit. They need a little bit of toss. Toss is gonna get the kill. Meanwhile, no one gonna survive thanks Look to the teleportation up, of Roger. Now suddenly it's gonna be three turns to four. Solo joins in as well. Very tanky is a timber saw, has eleven magic stick charges as well. Yeah, that was a great move by TNC. Once uh, Timber hit level six, like I mentioned, this matchup is very important. When Timber gets level six, he starts to pressure the DK. And they made a rotation, but BP reacted very quickly. Very, very yeah, yeah, very, very quickly to save the DK. He was so close to dying. And now bottom side, it's gonna be Samage being forced away. One leap is used. Oh, the and dives. Yeah, the dives is coming out here. The tier 2 tower, they're going right here onto Ramsey. Ramsey first one to go down. Roger has a haste rune, but the right click's gonna be tracking into him. Keep in mind that Io has no base armor. That was, very low base that was armor. a really bad dive there. Paying yeah. the price, and that's a shrine for, the, for TNC as well. So this is not looking good for the Gyro here, having a much tougher, uh, much tougher early game. Now yesterday we've seen when a Gyro struggle a bit, he kind of just went like face drums and fought his way back. Do you think uh, no one... Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, the, Ramsey's the game, gonna do similar stuff here? The game he casted yesterday. Yeah. Or do you think he needs to go for more yeah, of I a think, farming? I think though? he can. 
Because Tiny and DK are gonna make a lot of space. Like if he wants to fight, he can. But if he wants to focus more on farming, I think there'll be space for him. Because Tiny, I think Tiny and DK will be able to create a lot of pressure. And bot lane, they're gonna go on Ramses once again. Yeah, Ramses. I don't think he has any way out here. He doesn't. Very good move here by Cuckoo. Kind of just ran in the trees, dropped the deep yep, ward. They're and punishing the weak, the weak lane right yeah. now of. Uh, of VP, the guy not having a good start, and they can't really go top because Tiny is very strong right now. They don't really want to fight into the Tiny. Yeah, and we're getting to a point where the mid lane also is struggling a little bit for Virtus Pro as Armel is nature of the matchup. Nope, looks like Io also got picked off here. Man, this game very different pacing from the last one. Kills all over the place. Are they trying to like gank this timber? There's no way, right? They're trying to get this tower deny, but how here. many heals are they gonna need for this guy? Oh, tower gonna get denied here, and now tiny here. Ooh, nice big stun here coming out from Tim's. They will get the kill on Gyro, so Gyro dies once again. Magic Stick was used, and he's jumping back out for now. A secondary stun coming out from the Dragon Tail solo, trying to get that one last brain sap. A nightmare for now. Curse Crown being fired off on the back line, and Tim's gonna go down to the brief fire. Looks like Tim's though, or rather Armel, survived through it just fine. Yeah, they couldn't get the stun cross combo onto the team by there, because there was a lot of creeps, so Pasha couldn't get the combo off, so they didn't have enough damage there between the few heroes to kill the Timber. Like, Timber is very, very strong right now. I gotta say, all of these transitioning, uh, really helping out the PL catching up up top. Raven has had pretty much free farm since the Tiny had to rotate twice. Bottom side here, it's gonna be Ramsey getting caught again. This is the problem with the hero, it's so yeah. easy to kill him. How many times has he died? Meanwhile now, Roger being caught out as well. They will have a magic missile follow up. The right clicks from D supports, more than enough. Although he goes, ooh, nice nightmare. Turn things around. And now it's gonna be Tim's on the run himself. He should be fine. Yeah, but this Gyro, like you mentioned, six death already so far. Yeah. I think he has to like do what you said just now. He has to fight his way back. I think it's going to be difficult for him to try and just focus on farming. Because they can kill him oh, so the tree easy. got broken by the tether. Nothing from the chain to and the shrine will put everyone... Uh, Gyro's not level 6 yet. They need that call down. Well, Gyro, Gyro's not level 6 yet? My goodness. He is a... Uh, Struggle city. Yeah. And... DK, TP spotting. Try to hold the tower. Try to deny the tower here. Very important. They did get the middle tower deny already, and they will get this deny as well, so... Yeah, that's gonna take away a lot of gold from TNC. I mean, that's like... I mean, we talked about the importance of bounty rune. That's a couple of bounty runes right there. Solo's gonna grab the rune as they're all. Uh, looks like... Marana's taking quite a bit of damage, but with the leaps, she should be fine. So, two runes apiece? Yep. No, actually, three runes for TNC. Yeah, three runes for TNC. So they are already warded up their enemy jungles, like three wards around uh, the VP base. This is always what you want to do when you are having a, a lead. Control the enemy jungle, not allow them to you know, farm their way to come back into the game. You have to always see what they are doing and try to pressure them. And right now, bottom lane, the DK is all on his lonesome and he does not have a TP. I think they know that. Has he previously TP to try and deny the tower? Oh, he is completely caught out. He is very tanky. Well, Arrow's gonna miss, so maybe that gives him a better chance of surviving, but I don't think so. There's just That's three relocate, heroes. Though. No, are they gonna relocate? No, okay. no, I don't think so. <laughs> He's completely trapped. The spams are coming out. They even bring a fourth here. Armel will be here to pick up the kill. The BPA wants to wait for this blink on Pasha before they start to, you know, make aggressive moves. This DK has to... He's going for Shadow Blade, yeah? He wants to get the Silver Edge this game against the Timber Saw. Yep. So which is understandable. Blink, Shadow, Blink and Shadow Blade both going to be completed on Tiny and DK fairly soon. So that's going to be their first power spike in their lineup. And that's going to allow the Gyro to maybe hopefully have more space to farm and catch back up. Gang Squad coming Radiant's in mid here. Kuku leading the way for Sam H. They want to put a ward. Okay, they okay, want to they, put a ward on this ward. side of the jungle. Because I know the Gyro is going to be farming here. Top is under oh, PL has a hold? Yes. Tower. Is this is okay because the tiny. They want to die to the burst from the tiny. And Gyro as well, it's a lot of magic damage. 
Meanwhile, Armel putting a ton of pressure on the bottom side. This tier two is going to go down. I mean, this timber pick looking pretty good so far, doing very well in the laning stage, as expected. And at this stage of the game, really applying a ton of pressure. Because I don't think DK or Gyro is like, anywhere close to strong enough to kill the timber. So. Yep. They just have to avoid him, get their items, get their levels, and fight him later when they get a, they have to get a spirit vessel. But most timbers have been known to go for like an early use of yep. the hood. He has got it queued up right now. Yeah, so you can actually deal with the incoming spirit vessel. The tower gonna get denied. That's the third tower denied Gosh. in the game. So despite all this tower kill, like blink, tiny as blink, incoming. Marana gonna get caught out here. Sam Mage gonna go down. Oh, and that's a big kill. That's a these, these denies are keeping Virtus Pro in the game. Yep, that's why they're the best. One of the best teams around. Yeah. <laughs> they make all these small little moves that change a lot of uh, the situation in the game, and they are having a hard time in this game on the Gyro, and all these small little things are going to slowly help him fall back into the game. And with the blink completed on Pash right now, they smoke immediately. They're going to try to keep the ball rolling, so Gyro has a lot of ample space to farm, catch up, and they have to relocate available, so this two-man gang squad is actually a four-man gang squad. Yep, they are tethered up for now as Tiny and Bane they are just placing all these defensive walls because when you're losing, you want to control and protect your own jungle. So your your cores can, you know, use it to farm safely. And here comes the smoke from TNC as well. They want to further extend their advantage. Radiant are scanning. If they get a few kills, maybe it might open Roshan for them because they have bench. We'll see how things go. Roger gonna... probably has to sacrifice himself to save the Gyro. Uh, they could probably kill both, I okay, think. That's gonna be mind. the first kill. They see him as well. Terrorize gonna get dropped right on top of the face of Roger. Roger gonna throw down. Yep, the wards there. They know they were farming around the area. That's why yeah. vision is just so important in this kind of game. Great terror by Cuckoo seeing the vision onto uh, the aisle as well and then setting up that terrorize. If they didn't deny the three towers, I'm sure they would be like around 4k goal up right now. Yes, that's how the math works. Thank you, Luvi. Wow. I mean, thank you. Yeah. I suck at counting, so thank you for saving me. Yeah, we, we will uh, take you through kindergarten after this. Raven? Doesn't have a teleport score. Very far from home. It looks like he's going to fight breaking out in the shrine. It's going to be Cuckoo biting the dust, and real K comes in. Arrow's going to hit right onto the IO, but really hard to go on him. Curse Crown going to drop. Great call down, zoning everyone away from the fight. Fortunately, not going to get too much out of anything. Yep, Asha the on the chase. Blink cooling down right on top of the PL. PL, very tanky thanks to the hood. Avalanche not going to hit Arrow, though, on top oh, they, of... Uh, they can't get the grip onto the PL. Yeah. That was a really big kill for them to miss. Oh. He has vision. The oh, ward. somehow, some way. Thank you to the ward. And now it's going to be Samage getting brought down. Ventral Spirit porting in. This is going to be the second time in the fight. Very, very tanky heroes. The DK as well as the Tiny. And but here comes the raid, boss. They have to get out. Yeah, and well, they got out just in time to take the bounty runes. Looks like the raid boss has cancelled the TP. Oh, they're gonna run right into Ramses. The ward again. <laughs> they saw Gyro walk past. Yeah, they don't want to fight into the tiny though. So. Rocket on top of Tim's. Uh, it should be there. That's a ditch. Yep. Bye bye. Oh, he runs away, terrorized the toss, so it's gonna hit him. Roger gonna get hit by the arrow. Looks like Roger should go down fairly easily. A bloodbath out here. But at the end of the day, it was what two bounties apiece? Yes. And that also is, that is what counts. The bounty. <laughs> the bounty <laughs> well, I would say Ramsey's not dying there again. Is also what counts. True. Uh, it looks like he is gonna. You know, at this point, it's like he doesn't really care. Anyway. He's died seven times. As long as he's you know, uh, getting the kills, you know, and everything. Well, I guess he cares about dying. Yeah, he, he, he can't afford to die anymore. <laughs> yeah. JK. Swap back in, but uh, Ramses is right there, setting up arrow, gonna hit as well. It should be a very easy kill. Yeah, they're gonna use that bedlam. Another urn charge. He going to Kuku. Oh, he's going for Glimmer on the IO. He's actually not gonna finish a uh, spirit vessel for the timber. Hmm. Not very sure about that. But they do have a lot of magic damage. But uh, I'm just unsure if they can kill the timber if they don't have a vessel. Well, like you said, don't don't uh, Timber just go Yule Scepter anyways? But he's not going Yule Scepter. Uh, so it's kind of like, hey, I don't see you going Urn, so I'm not going to go Yule myself. Alright, they're going to try to get a go here on Timber. No defensive swap available just yet. They're going to try to chain Sun. 
and toss him up, but he still chains away the grip, though. Is gonna be there. The swap comes in a tiny bit too late. And that means Cuckoo's also gonna die. Way too greedy there. Yeah. Trying to get the tower. They're like, I'm, we're done of you denying all the towers. Done. I'm and gonna get this tower, but pays with his life. And, and normally that generally also leads to further tower deny, so... <laughs> and VP continue, tries to continue the aggression with the smoke on Tiny and Bane, the two-man gang squad. Yep. Which has... Uh, oh, no, no relocate this time, though. Oh, you know, uh, the let's go back to the lack of earn on IO. Is it maybe because no one's going for that... Um, Silver Edge? Silver Edge, so but they still, don't... I think it would be nice to have the, the vessel okay. as well. Because the, if you get the Silver Edge, right, you hit him, if he already has existing reactive armor charges, it doesn't remove them. It just stops him from getting sure. like, more. But if he already has it, it doesn't remove the, the present reactive charges. So it's not exactly like a full counter if he has already charges up. So having the Spirit Vessel, I think, is still pretty important in this timber. And any big items coming up right now for both sides? Gyro is building into a BKB, he has drum space. Yeah, about halfway there. Yep, D DK almost at the silver edge, like we mentioned. Echo Stable on Tiny. Ayo is building into the Glamour, whereas for TNC, um, Dark Widow is moving into... No urn on Dark Widow. Urn on uh, uh, Venge, the bench. Venge yeah. has urn, yeah. Normally we see that on Dark Widow. <laughs> Timber almost has the Bloodstone up. PL just picked up the Diffuser with the Hood, so they decided to smoke with this item timing. And, and Sam H is gonna get a male stomp so. Normally, uh, Dark Willows get earned because it really extends her solo kill potential. Mm -hmm. You find a support in the woods, you throw a vessel charge on them. It makes you tank here too, because yeah. she's pretty low, pretty low HP here. The stats are very useful on him. And here yeah. comes the Moonlight. Runs right into a DK. Do they have detection? Well, we'll see in just a bit, because that Shadow Blade is going to get used very fast. No, on the back line, though, it's going to be Cuckoo getting absolutely destroyed. DK very tanky, and that call down is only everyone out. Terrorize, jumping people back, but he is going to get brought off still. This gank, very reminiscent of the smoke gang in game one, where they're yep. deciding to pull ahead, but instead they're just losing momentum. TNC, very unfortunate. They were walking to their vision there. So, I mean, this is normal stuff. When you smoke, you go to areas that you see and the enemy. Mm -hmm. But on the same, at the same time, it was because it was near the shrine, so it's very risky for them to do that if they can't, if they can't catch the DK there and stun with the bench and the Mirana arrow to follow up to finish him off. The fight would be very, very dangerous for them, and that was what happened. I need caught under the tower. Wing dagger being uh, well stopped by that urn. They're still chasing him down. Secondary urn Spend being used. Goal. Yep, he did in the very last second. One thing for sure is that uh, Raven's getting a ton of free farm time. I don't think he needed to join any fight, apart from the one that he had to run away and survive. Oh, nice, uh, good awareness here. Looks like no one's gonna get caught. PL okay. jumping back in. Real okay coming in from the back line. Out of mana, long arrow coming in against Mur Ooh, Roger. He's gonna get brought down fairly easily. They even bottle that bounty rune. Good stuff there by Sam H. Great arrow. Yeah. Great presence of mind. Understanding that I was gonna pick up the rune. So big kills there. Uh, and he managed to get all the runes. No, and Solo got one rune. So it's three war, runes for TNC. This war sees a uh, tiny coming in as well. Guess what? That's gonna be the fourth tower deny of the game. I wonder if that's one of the, the TI predictions, the most tower denies in the game. <laughs> As this game might be I one mean, of I mean, it's definitely not every day that you see a team deny four towers in yeah. 20 minutes. And they're gonna go into Roche. It's gonna be a pretty slow Roche. At the very least, they have the Terror from Bench. Seems like VP is not gonna be able to respond to this. The, uh, the lanes are fairly pushed out. Um, even though it's not that quick from Versus Pro, but I don't think TNC, are gonna, uh, sorry TNC, I don't think the VP can be able to respond in time here. Roshan okay. is not about to die. Rocket flying in here against Timber. Timber is just... He's the raid boss, man. Yeah, he's, he's zoning people out. Meanwhile, oh, Tim's gonna get dusted out. He still has his uh, Shadow Realm. And he's gonna be fine. Yep, they have to chew and get more items on, especially the Gyra and DK. Tiny, I, I, I feel like Tiny needs a BKB as well this game. He ha they have to get to a point where they have triple BKB. Like the Gyro, the DK, and the Tiny all has to get BKB for them to be able to fight. So you think Virtus Pro is going to just play it relatively slowly? Try to pick up, you know, okay. with the relocate. 
Spread the map. Do what? Oh, the yeah. pick off is happening right now in the mid lane here. They're gonna go everyone onto Armel. Armel just Boy, blows big, up. Big kill there. Yeah. Cutting, that, the, cutting down the bloodstone charges. And that was the silver edge review. So. Really yep. good stuff. They need to do what TNC did in the last game with the IO and draw. Spread the map. Try to get your important BKBs and get just just try to get like singular pick offs. Maybe like small fights create small fights around the map. And buy time for the BKBs to come online. Once they have their triple BKBs up, then they'll be extremely powerful. Yep. And for whereas for TNC, they are trying. I think they should try to capitalize on the fact that right now they have this Aegis and there's only one BKB on Brothers Pro. And they have this immense magic damage with the Dark Willow, Mirana. They have to capitalize with this timing right now. Try to force objectives. Get huge pickoffs. Solo is not a huge pickoff, but they're gonna try to go for him here. Leap. Yeah, that should be a kill. And uh, unfortunately, the the Bramble Mace couldn't find any other heroes. Yeah. And it hopefully, does. for the sake of TNC, they don't get this tower denied as they are running into the tier 2 now. Is it a tilt deny if they deny this? <laughs> I mean, that would have been... F I mean, it is already a tilt. Yeah, it is already tilting, yeah. <laughs> uh. They don't push tower that very quickly. I mean, they can tank it all day long. I but. mean, that's the thing with Timber. Yeah. And PR doesn't really have too many items yet. I mean, Mirana can hit the tower, but they're deciding not... I, I don't know, I feel they have to be more urgent with their timings right now. Like, teams like Liquid, uh, Virtus Pro, they are really... and LG, they are very good at using timings with it. The lineup is really fr strong. Sometimes you can see them, oh, maybe they're behind 5k, 8k, but because they understand specific timings of their lineup, they're able to take a good fight and come back into the game, or extend their lead, in this matter for TNC. They are really strong now, they have to understand that, they need to try and force objectives or take a big fight. They're forcing fights right now, but it feels like it's always VP having the better vision, and they're fighting up a hill with the vision advantage on the side. BKB activated, and he's going right on to Cuckoo. Cuckoo looks like he's going to be the first one to go down. His team abandoning him. I mean, how can they play their area without ward? Exactly. And they this, don't have a sentry. They the haven't side. de warded. They haven't dropped the ward themselves, and they're actively I mean, looking they, to fight here. They know they have to take a fight, but they are not preparing well with the vision because the vision and the fighting has to come hand in hand. You need to have a good vision to take a good fight. And now because uh, the smoke didn't work, um, this is a lot of time for Burgess Pro to farm up their remaining BKBs on the Dragonite and the Tiny. But it's all precious time, you know, for them to farm and regain control of the map. See, immediately he buys 6 sentries after that. Like, he, you need to be the position 5, you know. Buy all the sentries. Dark Little Ultimate not gonna land on time onto Ramses on the Gyro. Gonna TP out. Uh, this is sometimes I feel like the struggle when a player that plays a core role yep. transitions into like a pure support. There are times that they maybe he hasn't had that muscle memory of buying it's not because it's not natural for them to always yeah. carry the sentries. You know, it's gonna take time before they fully transition into a, a support role, a natural support player. But two runes a piece this time for both uh, TNC and Bolder. Right. Yeah, Cuckoo's like I'm going back for this. <laughs> uh, and now he dies. Uh, I don't know about this. They still have the vision that you're trying to deal with. It's like a tilt deny. I, yeah. kinda... I mean, TNC is. I. They know. I assume. I assume the tilt is real right now. They know that they are at their strong timing, but they're just like not executing the small little things correctly. They're rushing into things. But uh, with that sequence of events, I think the triple BKB should be online soon. Dragonite is 1k away, Tiny is uh, okay, 2k away. Yeah, Tiny a little bit further. But I feel like they have the time, right? Even, that was the PL Aegis, and honestly, TNC was not able to do anything with it. Mm -hmm. And the game is now evening to almost zero. I mean, talking about Silver Aegis, I think maybe TNC could consider a Silver Age on PL. If you want a Silver Age against the Dragonite, I think that could be a good next option for him as well. Sure. Um, Timbersaw is going on, so he has his use, but it's on right now. Don't think he has any. Sh maybe Shiva's next. That could be nice for him. I think the key items will come from either the Pia or the Mirana. Those are the two heroes that would that will win the game for TNC right now. The Timber has already done his job. He has created so much pressure in the early to mid game. So to finish the game, the Pia and the Mirana has to do it. Well, let's check out the item progression here. Mirana in particular looks like going for a BKB of her own. Quite a bit of damage already, especially mm -hmm. if you count in lead. Not sure about the BKB on the Mirana. I you feel, feel like, like she's just straight up needed damage output. Damage output. Yeah. I mean, I understand that there's a lot of like disable, a lot of magic damage from, uh, from from the DP side. 
I don't know. Maybe maybe the BKB will be sufficient right now. They have. They, he feels like he just needs to be able to stand his ground. Just right click. He doesn't need any more damage. He just uh, has to be able to survive and you know just dish out the damage in the fights. But we'll see how the fights play out uh, in a moment. BP are uh, very close to hitting that triple BKB timing. They're smoked up again uh, with two heroes, the Bane and the DK, but deciding to just finish. It's BKB and Sol is probably going to drop some wards down here as a ward. Oh, runs right into Cuckoo. But and the two the two warders running into each other is just common stuff. And now it's going to be TNC with the Moonlight Shadow charging forward. Oh, Ramble Maze. DK wants to get out here scot free. He doesn't want to die. He almost has his BKB. Yeah. Meanwhile, Solo probably going to die for this, but they see him. Unable to actually chase him down. He has Trangles and Wind Lace. He's very fast. Yeah. I have to say, Virtus Pro really, despite having a 1 and 6 gyro early on in the game, has really, again, was able to play very well from behind to a point where gyro is now sufficiently large and could really do a lot in teamfights. Hold that thought here as we here have. Here comes the BKB from no one. He's charging in. They, they don't have a sentry. Yeah, they he gets don't. the initiate. Defensive swap's gonna come back out here. It's gonna be Cuckoo. First one to drop Terrorize. A little bit too slow. He will cancel that Terrorize. PL Illusion's going right on solo, and the rest of the team going the other direction. Pasha looking for the avalanche, won't find anything. Maybe a toss forward on the DK? Uh, this yeah, DK no is very scary right now with level 3 dragon farm plus the BKB. He is a force to be reckoned with. Did he even device. activate the BKB? No, he didn't. No, no, yeah. no. Good control there. Radiant oh, but he didn't find another. That's going to be breaking on the timber. And the suns are going to be there. Timber chain away. There's a rocket Yule's. onto him. Yule Scepter. Oh, he's just going to suicide, which is fair. Back was, in the mid lane here. Just did anyway. Reload it. Hitting on, and that's going to be solo being brought down. Here comes the BKB. Oh, no mana on the PL. Yeah. And PL looks like he's going to be able to run away. Being all damage. Leaps on the low ground. Does he have to again? Just... TP out, and he should be fine. The big tree coming in as well from Tiny. Woo. He'll barely survive. Still team up. Very, very big kill there for yeah. Virtus Pro. And his Bloodstone's down to six charges, so... I think he needs to get armor. Yeah, he's going to get Shiva. He needs armor items now. Let's... Otherwise, he just dies way too quickly if he doesn't have reactive charges up. And Tiny is about to complete his BKB. I mean, he pretty much has it. So this is VP's time right now with this triple BKB. So for VP with the triple BKB, they're looking to start taking outer towers, probably get an Aegis on their heroes. Is that the goal? Yep. Tower, win a team fight, then proceed to get Roshan, to claim the Roshan. Gyro is about, uh, you know, Back to the normal state of carry and on top of the network. Yep. Just fully recovered. Thanks to his teammates creating so much space. Also, let's not forget that uh, IO has already hit level 15, so that side gunner on IO is yep, fully on. It still online. activates when you are stunned. <laughs> yeah. That's why it's very good to get a Satanic to pair up with the the Aghanim's upgrade from the IO. Okay, BP is rolling right now. They understand that this is their timing with the triple BKBs. They want to be as aggressive as possible, try to claim as many objectives as they can. Yes, you want to fight into this. They see Roger, Roger. and oh, they don't throw out the Terrorize, so I was just walks it. away. And now on the back line, it's Tiny just absolutely destroys Tim's. Okay. Oh, the break. Running away, the buyback's going to come out from Tim's. He's going to pull right back in. Everyone's going to retreat. Defensive swap, or rather, offensive swap the Dragonite back in. Oh, great sleep. Yeah, uh, sleep's going to delay that kill a little bit, and now on the chase is the rest of the team. Roger, as well as uh, Ramsey's on the front line, looking pretty strong, and a pause. Oh dear, so okay, what's what has happened? DK went down. So they traded PL one for one. PL also went down, so call one for one call. And what spells are remaining? The BKBs are down, um, Bane has ultimate, Gyro does not have ultimate. Oh, Gyro still has BKB? Yes. Okay, then I think... And Tiny I, has... Then I think VP should be stronger. Yeah, Tiny has a another set of Avalanche combo coming in and they have the Fiends. Yeah, Mirana well. has his BKB at base. So it, they, she really does not want to take this fight now. They want to get out. Yeah. I think uh, the only thing that Dyer could do is just retreat. There is Terrorize just flying out. I yep. think. I think that should be fine. Yeah, he'll cancel it. Everyone will just disengage. Yep, Korea is coming in with the BKB. 
They get a sleep on him. Oh, oh they get a grip as well. Terrorize is going to be there, pushing everyone away, and now they want to fight this, actually. Tim's going, or Armel going right in. Tiny, tanky in the front line. That BKB activated. It baited it out. They might lose Cuckoo as a result. In fact, they will. Yeah. On the back line, it is going to be... just going to be chased on. Okay, I mean, they're trying. But he is so damn tanky, thanks to that uh, veil of this... Oh, <laughs> long range hit. Shadow Realm. Sending another kid into the Shadow Realm. Yep, BP done. just overextending a little bit for the bench kill there. As a result, losing two of uh, their supports, the Bane and the, the Io. Not the biggest deal. They still have their two important cores alive, the DK, uh, the Tiny and the Gyro. But right now, so the next important fight would be this Roshan, the second Roshan. TNC has, if they want to get the Roshan, they have to be able to find a pick off first. They can't, even though they have the damage to kill the Rosh quickly, they still need to try and get a pick off first to make it sure that nothing, you know, nothing happens when they're trying to go for the Rosh, so they can claim it safely. So they have to try to secure, oh, they have good vision, they have two wards around the Rosh pit, so perfectly set up for the incoming Roshan battle. But they're just going to go in regardless. Pierre just doppelganger in, but I don't think it's a good idea if they don't get any pick offs before they do the Roshan. Yeah, I don't. I don't think they could do it that fast. They have fast. a smoke and try to get a pick off us. They have a gem on Dark Willow, which is great at map control. They have a smoke swapped out. Yeah, they're going to do that. Okay, well, they let's see if they're going to run up a hill. Cause... They need to go around, though. I think they have yeah. to try and somehow sneak behind. And they recognize as well. They're going to take the super long way around. There's going to be a haste rune, so that's going to be nice for maybe one of the supports or... Somebody have a bottle. They don't want to pick it up because they, they think that maybe there's a vision. Oh, they have a gem. Don't they have... Uh, I remember they have maybe a gem. high ground vision. I don't know. They see Tiny though, Pasha in the front line, very very tanky, has a BKB, oh, yes, but he, he has BKB, so it's not gonna uh, work. Cuckoo gets initiated on, Cuckoo, well, has a Moonlight Shadow protection. Oh, no detection? Here. No detection, yeah, and the Fear is gonna push them away, the Tether will break. On the back line though, Sam H, going right onto the Tiny, the BKB are ending now, second BKB using, they're gonna get Pasha, Pasha will be brought down, thanks to the Chakram, and on the right side of the fight, looks like... Tim's as well as Cuckoo will get brought down, but the cores are coming in for now. A secondary yields on to the Dragonite. Samage will leap out out of leaps at this point, out of BKB as well. They will lose Samage. Gosh, that was such a hard fight to call. Initially, it started, started. It started so poorly for TNC. Right, I, they, thought, I thought it started poorly, but they were able to kite the BKBs of the Tiny and the DK, and they were able to kill them. Oh, it's not over just yet here. Now Armel getting caught up. Armel's gonna just get right click down, side gunner, and yep. right click. This is why, like, Tima saw. Uh, Timbersaw falls off it uh, a lot. Even though he's such a monster in the early game, if you don't keep the ball rolling, yeah. it's very difficult to close out the game. And that's why I mentioned the Mirana or the PL has to be the ones carrying the torch to finish out the game. My like, PL feel like he's unable to fight very well in the uh, in the engages because the Gyro and the Tiny and the DK, they, all these three cores, they have splash damage to deal with uh, the illusions. So PL doesn't do a lot of damage in the fights. He's been also really careful uh, with his positioning all the time. Not being, not committing fully uh, into the fights. So I with like this Aegis and Shiz on, on further score, that's gonna give them a sizable lead in the game, like full control here. The next couple of minutes, DNC wants at least to wait for the Aegis to expire before they try to, you know, take a fight. This is also one of the first few games that where I felt like Tim's Willow has really had no impact. Um, I think. A big part of that is the fact that the, the triple cores of the Radiant is just super tanky. Like I don't know, I feel they, they, they need a Spirit Vessel because this Io is like keeping people alive so long. Yeah, fights. that's definitely true. Which, unfortunately, Cuckoo has been buying a lot of wards and dying, so no Vessel in sight. Now, this is what I, I mentioned earlier when I was not quite sure whether the Mirana going for a BKB would be the best option here because I felt like maybe they might have damage issues and it's showing in the fights. They are not dealing enough damage to kill stuff. Yeah. And looks like she's trying to go into a Lincoln's after that, so the damage department is going to continue to suffer. And Pia is winning a heart, so that's not exactly a more damage for them. I don't know, I feel like Silver Edge is still quite a good option here, but we're not going to... Ooh, Avalanche going to... Uh, defensive swap is available. Cuckoo waiting to the very last second. Nice arrow to, to follow up. things up, and Cuckoo will pay for that swap. Uh. Things are not looking good right now for TNC. They have to try to speed push. Can't really defend here without uh, the bench. And is this going to be high ground? They have cheese, they have edges, BKB is all but Yeah, this is going to be high ground. And honestly, no TNC doesn't defend high ground that well either. 
I mean, with a okay, then pop the glyph. Yep, PL has no buyback. He's spent all his gold. Armel right, letting the shotgun fly. Not gonna hit too much of anything. Tossed right back, and about a billion sun hitting a terrorize. Gonna fly up, and well, not even gonna be there in time as uh, Armel just not tanky enough. Tiny illusions. Or PL illusions rather going on top of that tiny. He loses all of his HP or mana very quickly. Bedlam being used right now as Tim's getting slowed down and now. Oh, they used to the relocate. Those. They went back to re regen. Okay. They went back to base to regen with the tiny. And now Curse Crown hitting onto the Dragonite. They're gonna try to burst him down. Okay, Savage, a lot of damn shield! Not gonna be enough from Io. Tiny though, fresh life here after the heal. Rams is very low as well. Glimmer Cave's gonna get him back out. They might lose Pasha on the way out. Yes, they will. Sam Mage just doing so much right click. Great swap from Cuckoo as well. They have isolated all three cores. Looks like on the back line. They even kill the uh, the Bane. Ramses looks like he's gonna have to fight his way out of here. Sam Mage dropping very low and he will die to this right click. Buybacks coming out galore. It's gonna be Sam Mage. Roger being focused down by PL. Nice juking by Roger. Still keeping himself alive. He will finally die. Now it's gonna be a chases for Ramses. Ramses is super fast thanks to the Flutter, the Phase, as well as the Manta. He will make it out. Oh my god. I think that, right. was a, that was a mistake there for them to relocate in the middle of the fight to kill the tiny. Yeah, as soon, as soon as they relocated, it was TNC that went on them yeah. just for that. I think that was just way too risky. And, and the DK actually almost survived. If the IO was back there a, a little bit earlier, he would have been able to pop his cheese off and turn the fight around. But because they went back to heal, just a, a little bit of a too, too greedy. They're trying to be too efficient. They're trying to keep the push going. Kill Regen at the same time and just got punished heavily by TNC. Yeah. Great, great uh, move there by TNC. Jumping in right away when they used to relocate to re go back to base Regen. I don't think they could push high ground or anything, but it looks like uh, TNC will. Uh, this guy is so powerful right now and he's going yeah. for this Maelstorm as well, which is great like, uh, great synergy with uh, the Aghanims provided with the Wiz by the Wiz. Yeah. And more ways to deal with the Phantom Lens illusions. So we're getting up to a point where the P it's ultra late game. Pierre is getting to full slot soon. He's going for uh, abyssal blade. Okay. Which I I think it's fair, right? Yeah. yeah. Triple BKB. There's it's like IO that you want to kill. The best late game items usually the carries want to get like abyssal blade, nullifier. Those are the items that you're looking for. You want to lock down and kill heroes right away. And we mentioned that they had like this kind of like uh problems with damage earlier. So abyssal is also going to give them a lot more damage in the upcoming fights. Moonlight Shadow gonna get used here. Tiny. They don't have any vision. Oh, Bane is dead. Side. All right, Bane. Yes, bye back. They are swap thinking in. about going in. Yeah, they're thinking about swapping us. Now Armel jumps forward. Arrow barely missing on Pasha. Yul Scepter setting it up. There's a buyback. And I think they're happy to bait that one out as they disengage. But Dire, or Radiant rather, wants to chase. It's gonna be Rams is sitting in the front, moving very fast again thanks to his movement speed. Dire back oh, they have the now. Vision advantage here. They're gonna go right onto Solo. Solo is gonna get the Curse Crown stun on top of him, and immediately he should die to the PL. PL using the Manta, terrorize, pushing everyone back, and now Raven needs to jaunt away for now. Yes, he feels that they're keeping the core up there, and they're fighting under the high ground with their vision. TNC in a pretty decent spot. Dragonite isolated away from his teammate. He will pop the BKP to block the Curse Crown, and now he's being chased. He's gonna try to actually just TP home. On the left side, it's gonna be Ramses. What a swap, a long range swap. Bring him back, he now has to activate the BKB. Nobody focusing on the IO just yet. Never mind that PL Illusion's running right onto Roger. Roger will go back oh into the base, God. and he will be fine. He buys back. He has that max move speed on the gyro. That's why they can't chase him. Oh, I was, I was wondering why he's moving so fast. But of course, Tether now grants both, uh, both players the same amount of movement speed. Oh yeah, so that was double buyback, but it was both the supports. Yep. The and then all they have lost is Cuckoo, so honestly, not a bad way to press their advantage. And they're gonna get to the point where Pia is gonna be full slot. Uh, Mirana is also getting really big. He's gonna have the uh, Milner completed yep. if he wants to. So they're gonna have a lot of damage right now. He forgoes a buyback and finishes the Mjolnir. I think it's fine though, like, it, if, uh, if they can kill the enemies first, it's, he doesn't really need to buy back. All they need to do is get the good initiate, jump on the, especially the IO first, you've been mentioning this a lot during the team fights. they have to kill this, they have to kill Roger first before they move on all this, to all these tankier targets. I think if Roger's alive, they can't really kill the Gyro. Yeah, definitely not through the butterfly evasion, the overcharge, and... 
but still they have a lot of ways of uh, you know finding and focusing him. There's a swap, they have to terrorize. It seems like Cuckoo is kind of reserving the swap for the cores instead of for the IO. Because if you swap the IO, he could just probably tether back to one of the cores. Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. TNC. They smell blood. Yeah, they're gonna go for another Dyer's engage. They have to look at the Yeah, they, they still have the great wards here. And maybe they're gonna try to fight there. Maybe they're gonna try to plant another very deep does ward. He have, does he still have a ward? I don't mm, think so, right? No, no, he has no wards now. Drops a sentry anyways, and I think Virtus Pro... They just want to contain VP in their base and wait for... Because the next rush is the third rush, and this is very, very important. It's gonna give them refresher shot. Contain them in the base and... Try to get the Roshan and VP has to smoke out at some point. Do they have one last smoke remaining? Um, I'm not sure. I think they don't have a smoke. It's gonna be cooldown. It's still on cooldown for some time. But they have to they have to come out at, from their base to contest the Rosh. They I don't think they have a choice. They need to try and stop TNC on getting this Rosh. Virtus Pro moving out as a pack. They're gonna charge up the hill and now he blinks forward looking for the avalanche. He has buyback. That's why he did okay. that. Right. Tiny has buyback. And now Venge is being chased out on the left side. It is going to be a pretty chaotic fight. Moonlight Shadow gets dropped on the background. And now PL Illusions coming in for Solo once again. Nice defensive yield being used right now. Tiny. Terra is going to get used here. And now Timbersaw dropping extremely low. They're going to focus on Roger. Roger has bought back. And he has now died back two minutes without the IO. Raven's going to jaunt away oh, for now. Waiting out the BKB. Great swap now. Isolating the gyro. Gyro popping. I believe that was a Satana getting a lot of oh HP back. God. But now he's going to get surrounded absolutely by Raven. Raven going to bring him down. Oh, buy back. Three dead. Oh, buy back. No buyback. I believe he because he finished the Satanic. And now it's going to be TNC moving forward. Curse ground going to hit onto the Dragonite as well. They have a vision thanks to the sentry on the low ground. Barely seeing that Dragonite. Dragonite getting a big magic wand back. But it doesn't matter. He's going to get brought down. He buys back immediately. No dragon form on. On the Dragon Knight, and now they see what really. We saw once Roger goes down, the whole team falls apart. Gyro just couldn't stand. Yeah, he, he stood for a bit. He popped his satanic, but he got kited, and they just had it more than enough damage to kill him after that. Well, that's gonna be only a tier three, but they will stay for the first At lane of Rex. seconds, I think. Are they? They're gonna be able to get two lanes. Are they gonna try to throw or two lanes? Is this the question lanes? here? I think two lanes. Okay, uh, Raven moving down here. We'll get the second tower very easily. And now oh, TNC. TNC just. What a, what an amazing comeback after a, a series of many blunders, especially with the vision and the warding, but at the end of the day, the W is what counts as they are getting that second lane of rack, still 40 seconds without the gyro and the IO. And, and you know the thing is what, what saved the team, but because they killed, the, they were able to kill the Bane, like uh, PL ran, ran in and killed the Bane, they had no detection, because Bane was the one carrying all the detection, so they couldn't, they couldn't see the team, but he was like, I think he was like 10% HP, he was about to die, but they had no detection. And it was, I believe, a Glimmer Cape that kind of took him out of the fight momentarily. And that's gonna be a triple lane of Rex. And once again, the IO lineup technically could defend against Mega Creeps, but oh my, uh, the game is, realistically, uh, yeah, realistically not, because Roshan will spawn, and they will get the Aegis and Cheese. Still, there's still a chance for yeah. VP, but TNC in firm control of this game, so Refresher Shot, I guess... Wait, who do you get the refresh? I guess the Dark Willow. Sure. Maybe Venge with double swap? Is that crazy? Uh, I, I mean, think Dark he's Willow. been using it a lot. I think Dark Willow though. Okay. You, you just AoE disable so many heroes with your Terrorize. What about Murana with six leaps? Dyer are scanning. I, I can't even say that with a straight face. <laughs> Alright, then I'm they're gonna go. I'm just gonna to assume you did not say that. Okay, so, yeah. alright, fair enough. Alright, VP kept in their base right now. I mean, can they actually fight out and Gyro, challenge? Gyro has the farm, I think, Rapier. Yeah. He has the Mjolnir queued up right now. Oh, let's not forget about the IO-25. Now they are uh, oh, yeah, the a mobile actually, okay, force. This is actually crazy. He's going Maelstrom himself. Don't, don't count them out just yet. They, they definitely I, could help make it. I did not count it out. I think yeah. they definitely have a chance to still win. Okay, okay, dude, all right. Dude, I'm not saying you did. I'm, uh, yes, you did. For the viewers at home, don't count out your Virtus Pro. Not a good comeback, Louis. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sure there's doubters out there. <laughs> no doubting in here, though. Refresher Shard. Let's see who they're going to give it to. Looks like, uh, right, Sam H with the six leaps holding on to it for now. Is it a thing? Six leaps? You serious? Look, 
All I'm saying is, he has the refresher shard now. Just statements of facts. Dyer's bottom shrine is under attack. And we'll see if uh, uh, how aggressively Ramses and and Roger outside the base. They will have to port back and defend. And Cuckoo looking for a swap, perhaps. I'm not sure though. I think, like you mentioned earlier, I think the swap has to be used de more defensively. Because in the they, last couple of fights, he's been using it to extend. If, the kill. if they kill the IO first, then I think it's fine. Sure. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Swap. Terrorize. Ooh. He's dead. He's dead though. Yes, buy back. He's gonna buy back right now. Most likely POT. They see the PL. PL taking quite a bit of damage. That is the defensive swap. Cuckoo taking oh quite gosh, a bit as well. Look at the tether. I mean, that tether IO is hit oh hard. Oh my god. <laughs> it's flying out. It might be a P shooter, but. It's hit so fast. I, I think once he gets the Maelstorm, they're you, just gonna kill everybody. Do you feel like the buyback is a little bit too I, fast? Yeah, a bit too timber? fast. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, I agree. Because right now, if he dies, all of a sudden the game might get a little scary. God. I think you just wait, right, if you're TNC? I mean, VP just wants... To, I, I think VP just wants to get this Maelstorm on Roger. <laughs> Suddenly, uh, your IO becomes a carry. It's only crazy if you see the uh, the gyro start flacking, and he'll, he'll also flack. That's why it was worse before when Gyro had the the talent to add three three strikes on flat cannon. Well, I think it was also uh, Io getting at level twenty instead of twenty five, so you saw yeah, it a true. lot more a lot earlier. Oh dear, I think this might be a long one. <laughs> Because it's going to be hard for them to, you know, finish the game from this point. They are, they're going to buy back on the timber, so they, they are not going to try to push things too far. Yeah. They are going to try to chill, maybe wait for a buyback. Um, let's look at our items. Maybe finish the butterfly on PL. Mirana's going to have another item fairly soon. PL's out of slots. I guess he dropped the hood. I mean, not really though, because the hood, yeah. yeah. You can still swap something out. And you don't really need boots because of the phantom rush. Meanwhile, uh, Dark Willow finishing a Scythe of Ice, which is going to make that Refresher Shard that much better. And do you think Gyro... I mean, you called the Divine Rapier, but he's going for the Mjolnir for now. Yeah, you still want to finish the Mjolnir, because it's just way too good with the, the Scythe Gunner, plus, uh, uh, plus the, the Illusions on PL. You, you need ways to deal My with Shadow that quickly. Initiate. Are they going to swap out? No one. They're going to swap him back out right into an arrow. Perfect. Perfectly done. No, no buyback. buyback for two minutes. Five versus four. All right, they will flag. They will look at. Oh my, oh my god. god! Look at all. Oh, and, and somehow, it looks like the the stun did hit. Terrorize back. The BKB activate a little bit too slowly. Ooh. Satanic being used as well. Samage says, "I'm out of here." They trade a BKB. They trade a Satanic. PL on the back line. Looks like he did get a kill onto Solo. Solo needing the buyback. Long arrow onto Solo. Terrorize back into the base. You go and now, whoa, he went in. And what? he just died. He did not shadow him in time. A huge misplay by Sims. You will buy back with throw. Super exposed. And the double damage rune of Murana will force out Glyph on the backside. The PL going in, zoning everyone out. It's going to be Savage. Just right the throw to the throne. Nobody's protecting the throw. Yes, Savage will take it down. What a way to finish this game. Great swap into an arrow to start that team fight off. 5v4.